How does he feel about you? And what else is going on with him? Hi, beautiful soul. Thank you for joining me, Mystic Mia Moksha, here on Mostly in the Moment for another love pick a card reading. We're looking at how he feels about you, mentally, emotionally, his physical actions that he's taking in this connection or wants to, and then kind of just the higher perspective of what's going on between the two of you right now. And also what's going on in these areas in other parts of his life. What else is on his mind? What else is, you know, hev weighing heavily on his emotions, on his heart? What else is he spending a lot of time taking action on, making moves in, in his life? And kind of the higher reason for that too. Just to kind of give you an overall bigger picture of what's going on with the person you're thinking about. So I just want to say thank you so much for your love and support. I'm really, really happy that I'm connecting with higher vibrational folks. It's, it's a blessing. And um, with that, I hope you enjoy the reading and I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile one. The tiger's eye and the yellow rose card. We're looking at how he feels about you and what else is going on in his life. So we're gonna look at what he feels about you first and then what's going on with the rest of his life at the bottom. Okay, so how does he feel about you? The moon, I'm hearing over the moon. Okay, he's very emotionally attached to you. So whatever the situation in your connection is, he feels over the moon. So if you're in a relationship with this person, just started dating, little to no communication, or this is just someone new coming in, I feel like there's a depth in the connection between the two of you. There's definitely a soul level connection. He feels it immediately. And he doesn't reject it. He accepts it, this deep connection that you two have. And he's willing to kind of go with the flow, even if he's a little nervous, a little scared of what's next or what might happen or scared of his feelings. This person is someone who is willing to dive into these feelings, even if it scares him a little bit because of how strong they are. He's um, happy to live in the moment and, and enjoy these, these precious moments with you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. Okay, so I'm getting, sorry, I forgot to shuffle this deck. I apologize for that. I usually have all the decks shuffled and the camera angle ready to go, but for some reason I just jumped right in and once I start channeling, I like everything else goes out the window. So I feel like that's the energy of this person where, um, they want to like jump right in. They want to go all in with you, but they, they're trying to like pace themselves. They're trying to like do this the right way. Like they know it's the right thing to do to take this like one step at a time, but they want to just like jump in with you. I'm going to pull another card for you. You and I were too young. Yeah. Yeah. There's this feeling of like, Things happened too quickly. You two fall, fell in love with each other so quickly that you both kind of didn't really trust how you felt because it's like, no way. There's no way that you fall in love this quickly. Like there's something, there's gotta be something wrong. There's something that's not off here. Maybe we should take time. Maybe this is like a red flag. Maybe this is like, like all these other excuses about why they might have fallen in love with you so quickly, why they might feel completely obsessed with you, think you're perfect, think there's nothing wrong with you at all, and that they want this connection more than anything, that they will never find anyone like you. Like They're wondering why they felt like this about you so quickly, and they think it's a little bit wrong. Maybe something's wrong with them. Maybe something's wrong in this situation. Um... So I feel like there was this instance between the two of you where maybe you two were like friends for a very long time or maybe you tried something out and then they got scared, ran away, and then they came back. 
or if this is a new connection or some a connection coming in it feels like at first like you two get along so well that they kind of push you away at first with anything romantic trying to still just just be friends be more casual but then now whatever your situation is it feels like he's like i'm gonna just dive right in like i'm gonna give into these feelings like and there's nothing wrong with these feelings like how i feel about her is so if it feels good i hope it makes her feel good like it feels right like it'd be wrong not to dive in to these feelings to give in to this this connection when it feels so right all right so what is their physical actions that they're taking okay don't let your past hold you back yeah it came out in reverse so yeah they're don't worry they've already like kind of gotten over it they've already kind of released any like anxiety or stress or negativity um about what what they did in the past so maybe in the beginning they felt felt resentful maybe like even recently they felt kind of resentful of like what actions or they they t took in the past or they didn't take in the past towards you how they wish they knew this sooner how how they wish they gave into their emotions and how they feel about you sooner um also Yeah, they they were kind of hard on themselves for a little bit. So if there was a kind of kind of like a holdover period where you two were kind of just like getting along, getting along, and then there was like no communication, or they were kind of at a distance for a while before they kind of just like jumped into this connection. You're like, what was going on in that weird time period? They were kind of being hard on themselves because they realized that they wanted to take action in this connection and dive into these emotions. And there's nothing wrong with loving you and feeling this way about you um and so they're kind of beating themselves up a little bit about how they handled things in the past yeah regrets it's still there a little bit but um they've kind of matured and they they have more control of their emotions and their minds when it comes to this connection they're like okay yeah i messed up in the past but I'm, I have an opportunity now. Like, stop looking at the past. Look at the now. Look at the now kind of thing. So they're, they're, they've got, gotten better about um, not being so hard on themselves for not seeing this in the past and kind of redirecting their, their focus on the connection now and, and, building it up for the future like you know like because sometimes when you feel like you kind of feel like oh I, I wasted some time not doing this in the past it's all my fault like kind of feeling embarrassed or ashamed about not taking action in the past being scared of these emotions oh it's because I didn't know how to deal with emotions it's because I didn't know how to say these things it's because I didn't take action that we're starting like with like we're starting with um um starting things at a disadvantage you know so it feels like like he there's a little bit of guilt that he carries with him in regards to his connection where he feels like he has kind of started the connection like way behind the starting line and um it's his fault and you two could have been further along um in this connection like he could have already had you or he could have already accomplished some relationship goals with you at this point if he listened to you or if he like kind of wasn't scared about his emotions if he like had the courage or if he took action before yeah okay so what's the higher perspective the spiritual meaning behind this protecting love are you kidding me wow so he's he's trying to protect this love 
now because in the past he was protecting himself um he might have had some issues around relationships commitments in general um he might have felt like he wasn't like um something about he might have needed to protect his siblings when he was younger um, from the lack of love from his parents or his parents might have had issues with each other um, and wishing that their parents love was protected Um, he might have had issues in past relationships or his friends close people to him issues with relationships where he felt like oh I wish it could have protected their love I wish I could have protected this this love between the two of us but I do feel strongly that it it stems from him protecting himself because he felt like he couldn't protect the love of whatever loved ones in the past and so he's like protecting you from him because he's like oh like what if i can't protect this love because he has a fear of not being able to protect people's love he also fears that um he's not able to have a love that's protected and now he's become this like brave warrior love warrior right right in front of your eyes you were probably um friends with him or known him for a bit or like you've seen the process of him change even if this is like a short transition for him of not trusting himself in this love not thinking he can't protect this love to stepping up to the plate and being like i can i can do this i can protect this love this love is sacred this love is precious i want to protect it you probably seen this transition no, no matter how long or short it was you've seen this transition in him and now he's like full on like hey like even if she doesn't want me anymore if even if pile one is like um is moving on or needs some time to kind of trust me again or um even if you take him back with open arms or you two have been in a relationship for a while like he is very protective of this connection very protective of this love in a in a a admirable way in a healthy way but more than most people definitely more than most people he's like a, a protector of love he's definitely someone who will fight for this love protect this love make sure nothing hurts it as long as you're his he will you will you'll see like he's very protective of his love and it comes from it stems from um, feeling like he couldn't protect love in his past. He's changed. He's changed within this connection. Or if he's coming back, like he, you're going to see this change with him when he comes back to you. Um, wow. What, what a powerful feeling, pile one. Enthusiasm, friendship from the yellow rose card. I feel like you're going to see him like protecting this connection in more ways than one. He's always going to be trying to make things interesting for you, fun for you, nurture you, um, listen to you, listen to what your needs are for the relationship, how he can make this relationship better. Because he's like all in. This is someone who is like, when you had those kind of issues in the past, it's something that you prioritize in your life. Like love is important, protecting, like that's number one. That's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on his list of important things in his life. Everything else comes after that. You know, it's it's a very big deal. Like protecting this love is more important than almost anything in his in in life. It is important, more important than anything in his life. Um and so you're gonna see that in more than one way. You're going to see him be more enthusiastic um, about doing whatever you want to do, doing all the relationship stuff. It's going to be a little bit much at first, but um, 
he's very zealous about protecting this love. I, I can't explain it enough. Like, he wants to do, he wants to be the perfect partner. He wants to do anything and everything to protect this relationship because he wants to protect this love. And so you want to make sure that it's like healthy for him, that he's not overdoing it, that he's not like bending over backwards and breaking his back for this. Um, and kind of explaining like, oh yeah, like this might be too much. Like you don't have to do this much or like this is plenty. Like, thank you for protecting this love. Like you might want to have to like kind of tell him to ease down a little bit for his sake. So he doesn't get like exhausted. Okay, so we're going to move into what else is going on in his in his life. So what else is he like thinking about what's on his mind and heart? Cut the cords of doubt. Okay, so I feel like there's been there's this kind of like renewal of confidence in this person. In your person pile one like he I feel like he's removing doubts in a lot of things like he's seeing a lot of things clearly not just this relationship but probably even his like he's getting this boost of confidence he might whether he's always been a confidence person and just lost his confidence recently for the past months or years or if he has never been really truly confident he's finding his his voice he's finding who he truly is he's finding his confidence at this time so you're gonna see that like not just in this relationship but in life he's he's finding his voice he's finding his confidence he spent too much time in doubt over analyzing things being too much in his mind um this might be evident where you might feel like he wanted to say something to you um and then just didn't where he feels like where you feel like he doesn't share his opinion about things with whether it's around your you or his um or other people like his friends or family or something at work you know like you might see that he's been kind of actively like censoring himself not saying what's actually on his mind not saying what he actually believes what he actually thinks or maybe sometimes not even knowing what he thinks about a situation, his own opinions about something because he is always so used to going with everyone else's opinions, you know? Um, or like maybe he, does, he didn't take the time out to figure out what he actually wants or who he is or things like that. So you're going to see that he's going to have this boost of confidence at this time. So I'm getting a kind of general energy in all areas of his life, but he's getting a little bit more clarity of who he is and therefore more confidence in a lot of different areas okay so physical actions new beginnings okay he came out in reverse like this south node card came out in reverse so his physical actions cards came both came out in reverse which for me means that like he's already doing it <laughs> he's already on it when car a lot of cards come out in reverse to me that means um this is the energy that's happening right now ex at this exact moment that you're you know listening to this reading so this is this is something actively happening right now. He's already walked through this door where he's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna live a new life. I'm gonna take courageous actions. Um, I'm not gonna let my past hold me back. This is a new me. I'm a more confident me. Someone who knows themselves a little bit more than yesterday. And that's enough. That's all I need to know is that I know myself a little bit more than I did yesterday." I'm able to take action in my life in accordance to who I am a little bit more than I did yesterday. And that's great. That's fantastic. That's better than I have been doing, you know? I just saw 1919, which is a huge sign that of, of new beginnings, of um, wrapping up old things and starting new things. Like, wrapping up an old cycle and starting a new cycle this this is a big break this is a, I'm, this is um i'm getting world card feelings which is like this is a huge accomplishment this is something that you know is a game changer in his life starts a whole new chapter for him he's literally stepping into a new version of himself so this is a really big deal bigger than um you might think you might just see it in 
terms of your connection with him, but this is happening on all levels for him in a lot of different areas. Clover. Okay, look at that good luck energy. Okay, and so Clover is luck, success, serendipity, and reward. So you might see this and if you're talking to him and seeing him more um around this time you're gonna see that um the universe is rewarding him for taking chances and breaking out of his box um that he's been kind of forcing himself into or society has been forcing himself into just kind of stepping outside of the box just taking chances on opportunities new opportunities um that are more aligned to who he truly is and the universe is going to reward him with a lot of good luck so whether you want to be with him or you're thinking about you know going your own separate way um you want to give him a second chance but you want to take your time or um you're kind of like huh what is this like change in him like if you're questioning it like if it's good or bad no matter how you feel towards him, you're gonna the universe is gonna make you nice to him. <laughs> the universe is gonna make sure that you're kind to him at this time. You're gonna naturally want to be, because this is someone who is stepping up in this connection between the two of you, um, telling you what he wished he did, what he did wrong, being humble, being kind, being um clear. Um and that takes a lot of courage so I feel like no matter how you feel about him you're gonna have a lot of respect for him for you know telling you the truth and telling you what he felt like he might have done wrong and what he could wish he did you know stepping up and voicing his honest feelings and thoughts towards you that takes a lot of courage and no matter what this person did like that's going to gain a little bit of respect from you, if not a lot. And kind of like, oh yeah, he's doing the right thing. He's growing as a person. Like that's commendable. Um, but I feel like for most of you, you're just kind of, you're so proud of him. You know, it's kind of like watching, like this is, this is definitely like, no matter what the connection is, it's definitely like you have a strong friendship bond with him. And um, a lot of you have a strong romantic bond with this person as well. But at the least, you have a very strong friendship bond where you want him to do well in life, where you want him to um, find his voice and use his voice and um, for things to go well for him. So you're just watching him like a proud friend being like, yeah, go you you got this you you're doing this like I'm so proud of you like you're you know like no matter what happens between us like I'm so happy that you're you're doing so well and you're gonna probably see that he's he's kind of lucky at this moment it might be not bad hanging out with him at this time you know because he has a lot of luck around him at this time um because the universe is is making sure he has what he needs to follow his voice, follow his, his heart, his true authentic, um, energies in this, in these opportunities that are arising around him. Um, so no matter how you feel about him, the universe is going to make sure that you understand and that you are kind to him because, um, or at least understanding because, um, he's doing it. He's doing what he needs to do. He's making the right changes. He's, I'm making a change for the positive, you know? The tower card with the higher perspective. Okay, yeah. So he might be thinking he's just taking some chances and opportunities, you know, righting some wrongs and doing better and kind of just making steps to improve his, himself and his life. Um, he, he, I feel like he just thinks it's like, you know, he's just doing new things, making himself better, like nothing's really going to come of this, like it's still normal life, like he does not know, he has no idea about how his life is about to change completely. And because it's paired with this like good luck card, I feel like 
this is an unexpected change. It might it might confuse him at first and he might feel weird about it because this is such a big change in his life that he doesn't expect it. And, you know, everyone reacts to immediate big change kind of strongly because that's just our human nature. We we don't like change, even if it's really, really good. So like for the first second, for the first like five minutes, an hour, for a few days, or even like a whole week, he might be kind of weirded out about how radically his life is changing and has changed because I feel like the divine takes control at this part and it's like, yep, this is the direction you need to, need to go. We just needed you to take one step, one direction, like one action, one step in the right direction and we're going to bring you in this whole new chapter in your life whether you are prepared for it or not. Like I feel like the universe was like wanting to bring this in for him and was waiting for him to take the steps and he did. And, and also in terms of Im- improving mental health, because I feel like he's been so down on himself and down on his life recently that taking steps in the right direction, even though he's not fully there mentally, is a huge improvement from just being stuck in that stuck energy, you know, mentally. He's, he's moved out of that stuck energy. It's not completely, he just took a few steps and the universe is just kind of like throwing him down a well, you know? He's just like, oh, let me grab some, like, let me take some steps in this direction he's not even like fully out of that stuck energy yet um he might be taking big chances big risks in terms of coming to you and other opportunities in his life but then the universe is just like oh you took a few steps here wonderful he has a cliff to fall off of your change your life is going to change so radically that you're not even going to see it coming you aren't even prepared for it. You just took a few small actions and now everything's different. So that's crazy. It's so crazy that I actually want to pull an extra card because what's the clarifying situation here? Teapot, deep friendship with someone of the same sex. So I feel like um, they're, they've made a good friend or they're about to make a good friend in their life that completely changes their whole life so this might be someone who gives like gives them like a chance at a new job and this new job or working in this new company or this new line of work completely changes his mental health how he relates to life you know maybe his work environment was really unhealthy and this just kind of takes a weight off of his shoulder that he's been carrying for such a long time and it literally radically changes his behavior and how he acts towards you and towards other people and he has more time for things he enjoys and he um, enjoys going to work and stuff like that. Maybe this friend shows him um, the perks of being in a relationship. He, you know, This friend gives him advice on how to... How to Um, engage with you in this relationship any issues that come up he has good advice for him for specifically you even um, just apologize I just got interrupted again pile one there's so many like external forces here and I'm getting this is your energy like there's so much going on like so many little things to do um, so many things to knock off on your list. Um, I think I feel like little things keep coming up, or your keep your mind keeps keep, like being focused to this thing and that thing. Um, so I feel like you're so busy, pile one, that like you're not like putting too much energy and focus on your person, which is really good for him. Actually, I'm getting because he gets time to kind of just like do his thing, make this transformation and kind of like jump into this new version of himself and this new opportunities. Yeah. Because this, this friend that's coming into his life, it could be an old friend that's reemerging or someone that he wasn't really, you know, didn't really know that well. He's becoming stronger friends with or someone completely new, but that I'm getting like older brother, like big brother vibe. Um, or just like someone who's like a, you know, a close, close friend. Um, maybe even just like um like a mentor or uncle kind of vibe but like someone who's like 
looking out for him or just like good for him good energy um and i feel like this person is like going to show him like how to have a good relationship how to have a good home how good family good work-life balance um just like a lot of like little things maybe this is like his workout buddy you know someone he can play play ball with or just like um shares his interests go to the same like conventions or watches the same kind of shows and movies as him or but like a step ahead of him a little bit in a way or just a good influence on him um yeah i'm just getting this person is a really good influence on him you might be hearing about this friend soon <laughs> or you might already know who it is but yeah pa one it feels like you're a little bit busy busy too um with your life i wouldn't be surprised if a little bit of this energy is in you as well with like new changes and stuff especially if you are um choosing to be with this person this this energy is like kind of in both of your lives in a way you know and it, it makes sense if you both are entering a new chapter you would enter it together um yeah unless you are not sure or you don't think you're going to be entering a new chapter with this person um both of you might be in different energies but yeah you can tell you can tell if this is like the vibe if both of you are in this kind of energy so pa one i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did i really appreciate a like or comment uh, it lets me know that you enjoy this topic this is um this is a new one also so with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light Hi, beautiful pile two with the orange calcite and the tulip card we're looking at how he feels about you and then what else is going on with him um so i want to start with how he feels about you but right before we start the reading i got a couple of messages angel messages before this pile as i was setting up for this pile and the first was the number 244, the angel number 244. And then I use a little bit of um, dragon's blood incense um, just to kind of bless the energy before going into this reading. And the incense wouldn't like go out <laughs> when I was like, I only like to use a little bit of incense at a time because like I've been using incense for so much, such a long time. I've been doing tarot for like seven years. That kind of makes my nose stuffy if I use too much. So, um, in order to speak clearly, I only use a little bit, um, before readings or after readings or around readings. And this dragon's blood incense is to protect you against, ne uh, negative energies, boost your spiritual connection, help with your inner healing and increase passion. Um, it's also actual, like, biological, <laughs> um, benefits to dragon's blood. I think it's like made of cinnabar, right? maybe um anyway um but the main thing that came out po popped up to me was protect you against negative energy and boost your spiritual connection or your intuition which was like the number 244 angel number that popped out to me which was like you need to increase your intuitive abilities um and you probably are boosting your spiritual gifts at this time even if you're very powerful powerful spiritual already i feel like you're leveling up at this time and there's something i learned recently which was on um i think it was like actually on a long island medium show clip where um teresa was actually talking about um how when you have an intuitive gifts um after a while they kind of change the way you are intuitive changes you become more intuitive and you channel in a different way or you use your spiritual gifts in a different way so just like you know just letting you know that might be something relevant to you at this time so let's see how he's feeling about you mentally and emotionally eight of flutes self-elimination yeah this is kind of this is the energy of i've like something's unhealthy here and or something is going wrong or this is too difficult for me to handle and I want out or it'd be better for her if I left I'm getting more of that energy of like 
he thinks it's better for you if he left. He might think that you you deserve some someone better or you deserve to kind of figure out who you want, um, see if there's someone else better out there for you. Um, he's already done so much harm to you or caused too much drama, didn't step up in the way that you wanted him to or um, a little f a feeling of unworthiness. But I do feel the intention is so he doesn't hurt you more or he's worried about that he'll hurt you more. Um, I hid who I really am from you. Um, and a bit of shame. There's some, there's some shame attached to hurting you. So maybe he felt like he feels ashamed that he's not as a good of a person as you are. Or that um, he didn't have the courage to kind of really be himself around you and then he had, he might have not told you lies but he might have like kind of told you half truths or avoided telling you some stuff because he was worried about how you would see him if he if you knew this or that about him this about his past this about his i don't know something about who he is it might be like something within his body a situation within his body um Yeah, there's, there's a little bit of shame attached to this. Um, he feels... He feels so grateful that you gave him a chance, that you kind of helped him learn and grow. But there is a feeling of, I'm not worthy. I feel bad that I did you wrong. Or I feel like I'm not going to be the best person for you going forward. You may... You might deserve someone better than me or you might deserve someone who's, you know, more than, can, can give you more than what I can offer. Yeah, definitely that kind of energy here. Okay, so physical actions. What kind of physical actions is he taking in this connection right now? Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Okay. Um, I feel like this person is being, like, he thinks he's being practical, like, Oh, she's going to leave me in the long run or I'm going to inevitably hurt her again or I'm slowing her down or I'm the reason that like we're not achieving these relationship goals and like he thinks he's doing the practical thing by being like let me take myself out of the equation you'll do better without me kind of thing but that's actually wrong like he's not consulting you he's not he's not seeing it from your point of view um like it's like he's making the decision for the both of you and that's not fair because maybe you don't mind working through this issue with him or helping him grow into the person that he always knew he could be, you know? Like that's not fair that he is trying to take himself out of the equation when he's not considering your point of view. And what you want. I'm getting for a few of you. Like you might be like sick of this kind of behavior from him. It's like. Can you stop. Like being self deprecating. Like can you stop. Like. It's like. They need too much. Affirmations. They need too much attention. They need too much. Like they're not good with who they are. Or they feel so un not confident and unworthy in themselves that like they keep asking for too much from you energetically you know what i'm saying if, if you if you're in this connection you know what i'm saying like they're they constantly bring up this thing that they hate about themselves or this thing that they hate about their life and you know here and that you care about them so like you like try to support them you try to give them like love and care but like at some point it's like mentally and emotionally exhausting you even like physically exhausting you to have to kind of keep running around to kind of make him feel not so low you know where he just needs to kind of balance like his spiritual side which is like living a life that he feels like means something to him and you know doing things like doing hobbies and activities throughout the day that he feels like it's like true to his authentic authentic self things he likes doing things he finds meaning in 
Like, it's, it's a lot to put on you. And now he's even putting, like, I f- the breakup on you. Or, like, he's, like, constantly trying to, like, break up with you. For some of you, like, he keeps trying to, like, break up with you. And it's, like, exhausting to kind of always try to, like, win him back. Or try to get him to be, like, no, like, it's okay. Like, you don't have, like, you know, like, I chose you. Like, I... I want to work through this with you. Like I, like I'm happy. Like I like. You know, it's like it's it's too much. It's too much. I'm feeling so heavy in my body right now, like and exhausted. And I'm I'm wondering if like, you. I feel like some of you, your soul is getting tired. It's not like completely burnt out yet, but like, you kind of recognize this is going down like a weird path. Okay, so his actions, the hanged man, he knows what he's doing. Ooh, drama. Spirit is causing some drama here. Pile two. Uh Uh-oh. Apparently, he knows what he's doing. Um, I'm getting for, not all of you, this is like a narcissistic, manipulative person. But we all kind of somewhat manipulate other people to kind of get the end results that we want, whether it's in work or friendships or family relationships or even partnerships. Like, you know, it's really hard to constantly just have the other person's best interest at heart. Like sometimes like a lot of people can't help but put what they want or what they think is best onto another person um, and do what they think is necessary to kind of push them in that direction you know so I'm not I'm not getting for like a lot of you that this is like a narcissistic manipulative person you know who's trying to just get their way no I feel like for some of them they're just like they're they just need too much validation And they keep bringing up the same problems over and over again because they keep needing to hear that validation that like, no, they're not a shitty person. Like, no, like everyone makes mistakes. Like, you know, like it's like, okay, I want to say some things. (laughs) Some people have gone through some shit in their life where they need that kind of validation or a lot of quality time or kind of a feeling of safety and belonging a lot in the beginning of the relationship and you know it's not like right to ask that of anybody but if someone agrees to do that for you like they're gonna help you heal that part of you you know um this person feels like they they might have had parents exes and even you know friends or family members other family members tell them that they're doing everything wrong and then that they are not good enough and they suck at life you know and that they're like a nothing person just a waste of space kind of feeling right and I feel like this person has been told that so much in their life that they constantly are looking for validation and it's not like Like, I think someone from, someone who doesn't know this person might see that as a toxic behavior and unhealthy, but I feel like this person needs that. They need a lot of love and attention, a lot of validation, but um, I feel like they need it from a lot of people who love them. Because it's, it's so hard to just put that on one person. That's like really, really tough, right? Um, they need to do a lot of inner work on themselves. Don't get me wrong. This isn't on everyone else. Like he, he needs to do a lot of inner work on himself. But he also would do well with love and support from a lot of different people. Not just you. And so if you find that yourself in that situation. And not for the rest of his life. Just like, you know, while he's like kind of building his like self-value self-worth um and you don't have to take that on like it's no one's responsibility to kind of boost someone else up right but I feel like you kind of took it on but you didn't realize you're gonna how heavy this workload was gonna be 
how heavily he's who's going to rely on you and also like you that that you might be like one of the only people he's relying on this kind of support for so um yeah do with that information what you will pile to but okay so what's the higher perspective the spiritual reason child in reverse yeah inner child for sure sometimes when we finally feel safe um, in our life so we're around someone who f we feel safe with we're in a safe environment or something like that finally all this kind of stuff that was like hidden beneath like like deep 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 down inside of you finally comes out and so like when you finally feel like you're with someone safe or you're with like good people um good friends um good environment like when you finally feel safe this all this like kind of stuff will start coming out so if this person seemed completely normal you know they seemed like they had their like life together and they were kind of fun to hang out with and they weren't really getting depressed a lot but then all of a sudden like a few months after dating or six months eight months into the dating dating them in, or in the relationship they start becoming really like they have issues they're really depressed they have all this stuff come up it's probably because you gave them such a safe connection and safe environment for to allow them to do that where their body and mind were like okay finally we can start healing some stuff so just know that you don't have to take this on by yourself you don't have to take it on at all you can just be a supportive friend or you know if, um you don't have to even be, be a connected to this person if you feel like it's too much for you but i would try to help them like you know find some sort of support system if you know if you can if you feel up to it like maybe um reconnecting them with their friends or family that care about them or some sort of therapist or some some other resource like that professional resource like that so um yeah because i feel like this person is like ready to deal with that inner childhood wound and it's like it's one of those things where people made them made him feel like not worthy so just to let you know oh <laughs> was not expecting that I, we're looking at his what he thinks about you but apparently this relationship this connection that you both have has turned into all about him recently huh Okay, so let's see what else is going on. Maybe some some more stuff about you. I'm going to ask very specifically to bring more stuff about up about you. Okay, so mentally, emo emotionally. In the flow with money. I don't know if you've been kind of helping him out with money or um, he's been doing better at work or something like that. He's been... let me see he might be spending too much let's see nine of swords i'm getting a little bit of all the above okay first of all he might not be managing his money well he might be spending he might be overspending so i don't know if this is like a newer connection or like a phase in this relationship or someone new coming in but like he's going through this phase where he's kind of spending money recklessly not like over like crazy amount but like maybe spending money on like eating out or um on like little like little things that he likes too much and that's like a you know a sign of it could be a, it could be a sign of depression you know just trying to not get to that deep dark place and have to deal with it by buying things that make you happy food clothes little knickknacks tech tech stuff and toys whatever um, I'm also getting that he might be also making a little bit more money at work or something or his work situation is going well because he has good support with you from, from you. Um, so it's, it's affecting his work well. And so he feels like he has, he has the right to spend more money because he's making more, he's doing well at work. So he feels like, oh, like I can spend this money. And he might be spending a little bit more money on you on dates and stuff like that to look nice for you and things like that. Um, show off in front of you a tiny bit. Not like extreme amount, I'm saying. This is normal behavior, you know, when you first start dating someone. But um, also he thinks he can 
spend more money than he has because sometimes you like split stuff with him or um yeah things like that like you might you might be spending a little bit on on this relationship too um so he like you know he thinks he can afford more than he can but it's because like you're also supplementing this lifestyle and this like dating situation between the two of you um so his like kind of mind is distorting how much money he has and how much he should be spending at this time just to keep just to keep in mind um he might have some erratic money behaviors it's not extreme it's not too bad either i'm hearing it's just like um, maybe an indication that something else is up with him Okay, so his physical actions, what kind of physical actions he's taking outside of this connection? Strength, yeah. I feel like um, he feels weak and he's trying to overcompensate a little bit. Does that make sense? Um, and he's fe he's feeling weak and vulnerable because his inner child wounds are coming up. And I, I bet this person hasn't been with someone who he feels safe with for a long time where he's never been able to even do his inner work you know so he's feeling kind of weak and vulnerable and all this stuff is coming up and he's like what the f is going on with me i'm with this awesome chick and like things are going well at work like you know he's feeling good about spending money like what what the f is wrong with me and then, and then he realized like you might realize because you might be more intuitive or emotionally tuned that um stuff is coming up for him to work on so that's why he's feeling a little bit weak and vulnerable and trying to like hide it you know trying to hide like how he's feeling through like spending a little bit more money having a little bit more good food you know um yeah so just be wary like he doesn't know what's going on um this is what's going on this is why he seems different than like when you first met him and it's not because of like you directly in fact it's because you gave him like a safe space that this is coming up and i bet you for a lot of you like this is the first time he's had sa a safe space for such a long time for him to have stuff come up i don't know if you heard that honk but that's confirmation okay so what else is he taking action on a writer Ooh, number one news an unexpected message moving forward okay passion speed yeah so i feel like this person is feeling good right because for the first time in a long time or the first time ever in his life he's feeling really well loved and supported by you right um comforted nurtured he, like he's in a good place right and sometimes when that happens everything comes falling down or it seems like that and it's because you're finally aligning with someone who's a good influence on you and so you think your whole world is crashing and burning but it's because like depending on how much other bad stuff he had in his life that no longer served him that it wasn't good it's gonna seem like he, it's crashing and burning but what's really happening is he's just getting rid of some other garbage in his life you know okay so what's a higher reason Ace of Pentacles, yeah, so there's a new opportunity coming in that will allow him, that he will, like, take in a heartbeat because it'll allow him to kind of like, skip to the next thing. Okay, I want one more clarifier. Fair man, dealings with the relationship with a man with blonde or gray or white hair. Okay, that might be a description of this person. But I'm also getting like, okay, disappointment in a love, in a friend or a lover. One more. Get back to the basics. Okay. I love this kind of like nature, wings, feathery image. All right, so he's afraid. I'm getting afraid of disappointing you. as a friend or a lover, whatever the two of you are right now, just dating someone new, someone he's been in a relationship for a long time. He's, he's like, he's scared. He's going to, he's disappointing you because like he likes you a lot. 
he's he gets embarrassed if he feels like he's not on top of his game if he's not on his a game with you so with all this kind of feeling of feeling a little bit weak feeling like he's feeling sad a little bit that's only because he has some inner work coming up to like heal he's like scared of disappointing you that's why he's kind of like trying to always take himself out maybe recently he's been trying to take himself out more than usual and I'm getting that there's going to be a guy like a friend who comes in um, who helps him get back get back to the basics so I feel like um it's, it's gonna seem like he's running away but he's running towards something he where he feel like he can't disappoint the person so this this person that comes into his life it's like a platonic friend right um who helps him kind of get back into his feels by getting back to the basics so this person might be like more of a nature-y person they might like hiking they might like working out like someone who like helps him get back into his body get back into nature get back into like you know just the simple things just make your bed just make your dinner just like you know like someone who gets him back into like following a schedule and following like simple things you can do every day so you can like have time to heal because guys sometimes need to heal in their own way um, especially if you haven't have had experience doing inner work guys not always but like most of the time would like to do it their own way you know they can listen to your advice and see the way that you do things but um, most likely if they're just starting out they might need to do more guy stuff so they you might see them like gaming playing video games with their friends more um, and you might feel like oh they're avoiding me they're detaching from me um, but I'm getting like you might even catch them talking to the friend while playing video games being like oh hey like yeah I'm going through this thing at work or yeah I'm like all this stuff is coming up about like when I was a kid blah blah, blah or something you know just like guy chat like, sometimes um like you might be awesome to do healing work with but if this is something new or something that they don't want to like where they feel like they don't want to disappoint you embarrass you like be like oh yeah we just started this or we just started this connection again and like I'm having these issues come up like like I don't want her to be my therapist I don't want her to be like oh, who did I get in a relationship with like and then tell her all my like deep dark embarrassing secrets or all these like feelings and emotions like I don't know how she's gonna react and so you might be someone who's like good to do emotional work with right but um he doesn't feel comfortable enough to do that with you yet and this is something new some a new experience he's having or you know doing inner work or something like that um or he's like surprised this is coming up he, he doesn't know where it's coming from and he's too embarrassed or shy shy or ashamed to like tell you about it at this point in your connection so he's probably gonna go to this could be like in person like a friend or like a mentor or a boss or something like that um, a family member or it could be like um, someone that they you know watch on YouTube or listen to the podcast of and someone who like, like a, a masculine energy who is giving him good advice on how to deal with whatever he's dealing with and like you know sometimes you do one thing and it helps you in another so for example like getting back into your body getting back into nature can help you kind of um unclutter your mind and give yourself peace enough to think about this issue clearly um so it might look strange to you you might not understand why he's doing it this way or that way but he's doing what he needs to do like his intuition, his guides, his higher self is telling him how to deal with this. So I wouldn't worry about it, pile two, if I were you. You might see some strange behavior from him at his end, but know that you are a good influence on him. And um, when he says, like, I hid who I really am for you, like, I feel like he doesn't want to. He didn't do it intentionally. And he's really, really ready to work on himself and be a better person for you and for himself which is really a good sign so pile two it's up to you what you want to do with this connection you definitely set him on a good healing journey so good for you like a plot like pl i hear applause from spirit for you for helping this person uh, start their healing journey and yeah uh i hope that 
that's <laughs> that information and it's good enough for you to kind of get some clarity and make decisions on your end so uh if you enjoyed this reading i really appreciate a like a comment uh, this is a new topic for me i really like to know what you think and with that i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and i wish you much love and light Hi beautiful pile three with the rubies and the dahlia card we're looking at how he feels about you and then what else is going on with him so we're going to start with how he feels about you mentally and emotionally first kiss ace of flutes ace of cups oh wow so i feel like this is something new or something just beginning or something like even if this person is like someone coming back or someone if you've been in a relationship with this person for a long time like this is something like a new era a new rush of passionate feelings and romance entering the connection again feeling renewed love but i feel like for a lot of you most of you picking this pile this is someone new coming in or this is a new connection that you started just started dating this person first date or you know you're only a few weeks a few months in several months in so it's still something new about this connection it could still be, still be six to eight months in but still feel kind of new you know depends on your specific unique connection but I, there's some newness in this connection and they're very much excited about uh this this love that they have for you and they're they're feeling romantic and they're feeling this is right um the dahlia card has dignity in it so this person is like like you might feel has like worth and re as a respectable person and i feel like there's like such comfort knowing that starting this thing with this person is like is going to be good no matter what like they're going to treat you right like even if even if you two kind of go your two separate ways which i feel like you feel like it's not going to be likely and they th they feel it too they feel like it's it's likely that you two are gonna like be in it for a long haul and like i feel like you i'm getting specifically your energies you have a good feeling about this connection and this person because you're like even if we decided to go our separate ways um like this person would treat me right and be really kind and support me even if that was the choice and like you know like that kind of feeling where this person is like does the right thing you know and not because like he wants to look good to you and look good to others because he genuinely believes in doing the right thing wonderful man you got your first self pile three really excited for you all right let's let's see how else does he feel and think about you I couldn't let you get close to me. There's something about... Okay, he wanted to do the right thing, but... Um, okay, maybe this is someone that you worked with or someone that was like your boss or some sort of like higher position than you at work. This could have been someone who, you know, was a friend of one of your exes or... Um, a family member of one of your exes or um something about like um like being off limits you know or like you know you didn't want to cause drama or he didn't want to cause drama he wasn't sure if you were dating someone else so he didn't like make a move on you because like someone said something to him where they they insinuated that you are with someone or that you just recently broke up with someone. So it was kind of like, oh, I shouldn't, you know, I shouldn't like go after her right now. Like she, she just broke up with someone. She probably wouldn't want to or something. Or I want to respect her space and give her, give her a chance. There's something, something about like, something like that, like respecting your space and respecting, um, respecting you so much that he wouldn't want to tarnish your name or do something wrong maybe you were even in a relationship and so he was just like oh i really 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 
freaking love pile three, but, um, you know, I'm not a homewrecker here, you know? So there's something about like, he wanted you, but like he couldn't have you. And he's, he's someone who's like, does like, like he would push the boundaries. Like he would break the rules if it like, if he was called to do it like if, if it felt right morally but um like he's not gonna intentionally go after you if he doesn't know the situation or if there's kind of a situation that like you were in or you were getting out of that he you know he just wants to give you space respect your respect you as a woman kind of thing you know yeah Interesting. Okay, so what actions is he taking right now towards you in terms of this connection? Your hard work is paying off. And came out reverse. So I'm getting he um, has been really working hard to get your attention. He, it, he worked really hard to kind of win you over. So if you felt like you weren't sure if this person liked you or not. Like, does he have a crush on me? Does he not? Like, did he ask about me? Like, oh, I heard he asked about me, but, like, then he doesn't even make a move. Or, you know, he asked for my number, but then he didn't, like, call or text me. Or, you know, like, so you're kind of, like, unsure about this person going back and forth because, like, you know, it seemed like he liked you, but then it seemed like he didn't like you. And you're like, I'm so confused, right? You might have been confused in your energies. And that's because he was, like, trying to make sure he did this the right way he was trying to get more information he was trying to like wait for his turn wait for like when it's appropriate something like that and spirit is saying like his patient his patience proved worthy like proved valuable paid off because he won you in the end and he did it the right way you know he didn't like steal you from someone he didn't um like just go up to you and ask you out not caring if anyone like you know about your situation or anything you know he was patiently waiting for you and doing a lot of work behind the scenes like you might not even realize how much he did like I, i'm getting this kind of image of like you know um figuring out when you what your work schedule is kind of like when you when you're kind of the most free so when he does ask you out like you know it'd work for you you know figuring out like places that you can go to dates you can have based on your work schedule or based on like whatever was going on with you um even like you know being friends first or um trying to see if you are available to date or you know if you're if you're even like emotionally ready to date, maybe you just got out of a relationship or um, out of a difficult situation in your life and you're just like, ah, you know, I have too much going on. So he like patiently waited and worked really hard behind the scenes. Like you might not even know how much like time, energy and effort he put into even the smallest decisions and like winning you over. But Spirit's like he, he won. He did the right thing and he, he won the right way too. Good guys, finishing first. Love it. Okay, so let's see. What other actions? Yeah, um, I'm getting behind the scenes. I feel like he was talking to a lot of people. Not maybe not a lot of people, but like maybe one or two people asking, like, oh yeah, like, what do you think Pile Three would like? Like, oh, what, what, you know, is she in a relationship? Like, you know, um, is she ready to date? Or, you know, what kind of date would she like like where would she want to get proposed to like, you know whatever your situation is like I feel like they did some reconnaissance you know <laughs> they asked uh, asked around a little bit not like a ton of people but you know at least one or two and um they kind of like were checking like they're trying to not make it too obvious that they're into you or that they want to like make this next move but um so they wouldn't ask you know if you had a mutual friend or something like that they wouldn't ask them too much just to make it like not so obvious or trying to be so casual about it you know so it wouldn't like get like other people suspicious but like yeah they try to keep this hush hush they they were very 
very like mature very poised about it very stoic really they they had they didn't really let on let it on that they had these feelings for you and that they're trying to win you over that they're actively pursuing you you know they kept it really hush hush and there's some sort of there's there's some sexiness to that like they really they played the long game and that's very sexy okay so what is their higher perspective what's the spiritual reasoning for all this raven in reverse okay so um they might not know it yet but this is like a really strong soulmate level connection and so they might not be so spiritual or like you know believe in all those things but they had a feeling that they needed to do this in their life they might have other reasons for it rather than like spiritual reasons but they had a like a really strong like knowing a feeling that they had to to pursue you and do it the right way so like it's funny because like I feel like they have their own reasoning and belief of why this is meant to be and that they are meant to like pursue you and win you over and take their time doing it the right way they have their own reason behind it I'm getting for a couple of you it's because like that's the story of their parents meeting or something like that like that's how his father um won over his mother which is a good sign like if that's the message spirit is giving me that's a good sign that they have a good relationship with their parents specifically their father really strong um healed healthy masculine energy this person has very strong healthy masculine energy okay so let's see what else is going on in their life what else is going on with them let's see bravely market your magic yeah so this person is like knows how to kind of appeal to, you know to a romantic interest so like in in a healthy way so he's not gonna like try to like he's not the kind of person who's like showing off his money on instagram or has many pictures with a lot of different like women or you know um like he's someone who like has healthy good friendships you know healthy relationship with his family or his like you know um family that he's like made like some people have grew up with like good families good relationships with like the, their parents and their siblings and stuff some people make that but either way having a good family base is important and he has that he knows how to like show off his skills without showing them off you know <laughs> um comes off confident without coming off cocky really cool confident um yeah he knows how to he knows how to appeal to the opposite sex oh for sure i'm i'm pretty sure like there's there's been um you know he's had many women have crushes on him um in the past it might not be so obvious to him or so obvious to you but like you, there's like an energy about that like for sure he has queen of wands interesting um he finds you super effing attractive very attractive um this is the kind of person like i don't know like, i'm getting like someone i don't know you might think that like oh yeah this person would probably end up with someone good looking for some reason and you're that good looking person <laughs> pile of three but um yeah like for some reason like um I feel like he could be very attractive but I'm feeling for most of you who's just like um average average looking um average level of attractiveness um But he can pull, like, really beautiful women, like, quality women, just because he has so many good qualities. He's so, like, strong and healed in his energies. Um, but there's something about you 
that he likes. Like, not only are you beautiful, but you're also kind of very, like, mysterious, kind of. And also, um, you have some qualities, like, about you that are kind of very unique. I'm mean, getting at least a couple of your very unique interests or skills. And so, you know, both of you find your diamond in, your, in the rough, you know? It's, it's really... Like, you're, you two are the kind of people that, like, you don't need to go, like, flaunt your stuff because you just naturally flaunt your stuff without consciously trying to. What am I trying to say? Like, you don't have to go out there and, like, show off. Like, just you being you, other people might think that you're showing off, you know? Like, I don't know, just... If you had to fix a, you know, tire on your car or something like that, um, if you just, you know, go out and getting groceries or the way that you, if you had to make an impromptu speech in front of someone else or, you know, if you had to get dressed for a specific kind of vacation that you've never been to or whatever the situation is, I feel like both of you, like, show off by not showing off. Like, you don't even have to tr- try to flaunt yourself you don't have to even try to come off cool and that you know you have this kind of skills or these kind of interests and that makes you so cool and valuable like you just have that air about you and people just naturally see it in the way that you talk the way that you behave um the way that you naturally use your skills organically and organically organically through um situations that arise pop up yeah, both of you have this kind of quality where it's like, if you get to know me, you're going to see how cool I am. If you just hang around me, you're going to see me do something cool. And you're not even trying to. <laughs> wow. All right, so um, what about some physical actions? What is he doing outside of this connection? What is he working on? Animals, okay. So for, for a few of you, they might work with animals. Um, for a lot of you, um, he might have... A dog or some sort of pet, cat, bird, um, or some other kind of pet or multiple pets. Um, and he spends a lot of time kind of taking care of them, taking them off, out for a walk or engaging with them. Um, this person might not come off as someone who's just like... Um, introverted because they they seem to carry themselves so well in social situations or well enough you know um but they like their quiet time they like to kind of it gives them energy it recharges them to just hang out with animals and to be in nature and stuff like that and to be on their own and stuff like that so i feel like you might notice that this person spends a lot of time recharging by themselves and I'm getting it's just because they they don't often find people who are on their level you're definitely on his level even the friends that he has and the family relationships and the co-workers that he has um they, they still do exhaust him a little bit. Yeah, this is someone who needs to, like, um, like recharge after social situations sometimes. Um, and it's not because they're all completely draining. It's just, it's just that, like, most people... Like, I feel like he has more annoying conversations than he does, like, fulfilling. Like, even with his friends or you or whatever... Like, I feel like maybe for work, he has to deal with, like, a lot of annoying people. Or maybe, like, he lives in um, a draining neighborhood, draining environment. Um, maybe he has a draining work situation, people or environment. Um, maybe his, like, family is sometimes draining or just um, something. That something is draining for him. I'm getting, I'm feeling like completely drained. So I feel like pile three, whenever you're like watching this, um, 
he might be feeling like completely drained right now like he might be taking some time to like recharge right now even um okay so what else is he doing star card okay yeah mm -hmm. i definitely do see that this person is like has like star qualities people definitely look to him as someone who um who helps a lot you know really charming always says positive things fun to be around interesting helpful being key okay star card blessings clarity hope dreams healing intuition progress to goals um i feel like this person needs to look out for themselves because i feel like a lot of people drain him um including some of his current friends and family members even people he's like good with sometimes um or have no like ill will i guess like they're just it's good connections but they're kind of still draining you know family relationships can be like that sometimes where if they're asking for too much or they need a lot of help, it could be draining on you. So I do feel like he gets drained a lot from between work and his friends and family and, you know, whatever situations he's in. It's like he's getting drained a lot and, like, he has to constantly, like, recharge himself and refocus himself to kind of work on his goals, work on his dreams because, you know, we all, we have, like, we all have, like, one life to live and only you can make your own dreams come true right and you want to support other people in their dreams and you want to support connections with good people that you love um people that are good for you that that you love um but if you're not getting that back from other people or that uh, that much like you have to kind of make sure that you prioritize your goals and your dreams sometimes too right so i feel like he has to do that a lot like he has to remind himself what he wants and what his goals are because he takes too much time um, helping other people with theirs and not enough people helping him with his. Does that make sense? That's why I feel a little bit drained. Like he's constantly doing things for other people. Um, he could even be at work where he has to talk to too many people. Um, or like he's taking on work of like two, two and a half, three positions you know so it's like i'm feeling this energy of like being bone tired like almost bone tired like every day just like working really hard every day sleeping waking up and doing the same thing over and over again so um if he's like resting right now like that's why and you maybe when you go over or you see him or you talk to him he's just kind of like on the couch like hanging out with his dog playing video games and watching sh uh, a movie or something and he's not really doing much and I feel like you see him a lot like just not doing much and that's because like for the majority of the day of the majority of the week the majority of the month majority of the year he's just constantly working non-stop talking thinking about other people doing things for other people and so I feel like when it finally comes down to you you're you're someone who finally actually cares about him and gives him energy and when he's around you he's just kind of like laying around and you're like why aren't you why aren't we like you know going out why aren't we doing this or that and it's just because he's so bone tired um because you're the only one who really gives him space to just like relax so then if you get disappointed at him for that like he he just he's like okay i'd rather just like i just want to sit here with my dogs and like watch tv and just like lay on the couch you know and like take a nap and stuff you know and he's like i work so hard all day every day like i get it that she wants to do things and i want to do things with her but i'm just so tired so there's there's got to be a solution and i feel like you like him this is a good connection so i feel like the two of you will help each other out and you'll help him think of a solution for this issue because you know you see his good quality and he has he's a good he's a good guy Father, you could tell he's a good man. Um, okay, so the higher perspective of what's going on. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel again, like I feel like he's doing the work of like three people. Okay. So I'm getting like some of it's like at work, some of it's outside of work. So I'm getting like multiple things. Like he might be doing more than his specific jobs responsibility at work so he might be doing the job of like one and a half two people at work 
And then he's also, like, taking on the responsibility of, like, taking some, uh, taking care of some family member, um, or family members more than his share, like, more than his, like, siblings do or the other grandchildren or something like that, like, more than, like, um, his fair share. If, if he has, like, um, an ex-wife or, like, you know, other children with other people, he might be doing all the work with them or most of the work with them. Um, he might be even, like, letting a friend stay at his place after they got a divorce or, you know, needed a place to crash in between places or something like that or they just got laid off or something. But yeah, I'm, I'm getting exhausted. I, I'm so exhausted channeling this person's energy pile three. Like, I... Do you know that some, some people, they're just like superheroes and like, how does this person do it, right? But then other times it's just like, ah, oh, I wish this person would like say no sometimes, you know? And like, I feel like this person does. Like, they say no when they need to. So they never actually like become so burnt out that they just like die, metaphorically but like they become just burnt out enough that they can keep going and I'm getting so like they're they're so exhausted when they finally get to hang out with you they're like barely there you know if you guys go out for dinner or something like that or have a phone conversation they're like half of them is not there and I feel like I feel like you feel bad you feel sympathy for this person and you really want to help them out. So I think pile three, I think you're going to be, you're going to be able to do that and work something else. Dolphin. Financial gain usually coming from something you did in the past. So I feel like pile three, if you invest in this person and you help them out right now, it's going to be worth your while. Like you're going to see energy come into this person's body again. You're going to see the blood, blood flowing again. It's going to be more passion in your life, you know. There's going to be more romance. And this person can handle so much energy. Like, they're like three person in, three people in one, right? Like, imagine if they put all that energy and hard work and focus on you and this relationship and your, and your own immediate family and your own home. Like, this person would get, so, like, so much done in this relationship. Um especially with someone like you who energizes him and supports him um, and works with him to achieve these goals. Like, so it's, it's well worth it, Spirit is saying. I mean, the choice is up to you. I mean, it's always up your choice if you want to, like, help someone or not, but, uh, you know, with their consent. But I feel like Spirit is saying, like, this is, this is a good person and they just need some love and support and some tools, some, some, you know, information, some research about what, how they can tackle this. You know, you're not like, you may not be an expert either. Um, but both of you can figure this out together, try some things, see what works, but what doesn't, you know, it's going to be well worth it. And he's going to remember that you're the person who helped him get to, um, having a life with you, <laughs> being able to enjoy a life with you. All right. So pile three, um, I hope you enjoyed this reading. If it resonated, if you liked it, or if you just want to support me, I really appreciate it. Like a comment. This is a new topic, so yeah, your input on the topic would be cool too, if you uh, if you want to. And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day, and I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile four, with the ocean jasper and the lotus card. We're looking at how he feels about you and then what's going on, what else is going on with him. So let's start with how he feels about you mentally and emotionally. Nine of roses, nine of wands, meeting parents. Okay, so I feel like he feels like you two are kind of following all the right steps in this relationship, like crossing off all the milestones like you two are doing like the responsible things the things that like people expect you to do the people the thing that your partner expects you to do so both of you are kind of like okay so you know now we've entered this stage of our relationship now this stage and now this stage so both of you are feeling like um the connection is progressing positively 
It's very promising where this is leading. It's like you're almost at the finish line. So whatever goal you are in with your romantic love life, whether you're already in a relationship with this person and this is like the next milestone, like having moving in with each other, having a kid, getting married, um, you know, this could be like them finalizing something outside of the relationship. Um, or if, if or, or even if this is something new, where this is someone coming in, someone new coming in, or someone you just started dating, where it's just like the beginning of the connection goes so smoothly that it's, it feels like you two are like, you don't have one, but it feels like you two are checking off like a checklist of like, yep, this person checks out on this. Okay, now they should meet my friends. Okay, now they, they should, we should talk about long term plans. Now we should do this and that and this and that. It seems like everything is going so smoothly that the beginning of the relationship, it feels like things are just flying. Um, and if this is a connection that's coming back it's like it's like bringing you into the circle again you know like oh yeah like you know if you two have broken up for a while or just friends for a long time or like maybe this was something where you two took a break for a very long time um, it feels like oh yeah like getting to know like hanging out with their friends again or um, going to your usual spot for or dinner or like something like that like getting back into the groove and where people recognize and know that you two are back together that you two are um giving this connection as a shot so wherever you are in this connection it feels like you're very you, you both are on the same page things are going smoothly and you both are very much you know taking the appropriate steps wanting to take the appropriate steps for leveling up the connection the next level of the connection Okay, really cool. So many things remind me of you. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting like, if this is a connection that's coming back, it's like kind of crazy. It's like, oh yeah, like I remember we, you know, went to that beach and we did this and uh, when we went on a date here or, you know, when, you know, one of your cousins, you know, met us here with, you know, his wife or, you know, her wife or something. It's like, it's like, there's so many things that like are like, you're remembering or the two of you are remembering from the past if this is a new connection um it feels like there's something so familiar with this person that it feels like you two know have known each other for a long time which is why things are going so smoothly and why both of you are so comfortable like taking more serious steps with each other even though this is something more new or something at the beginning of the connection um because you both are just like just feels it just feels right like you you get along with his friends really well it feels like you've been part of the family for a long time um it just feels like so comfortable with this person right away right off the bat right and like that, that doesn't feel awkward to do these things that like you're supposed to do later on in the relationship we both are like no cut the stigma like the, we're doing what feels right and this feels right and good for you if you're doing that. And then if you two have been in a relationship for a long time, um, it feels like this is a goal that you two were trying to achieve before, but then something happened. Maybe you two were trying to have another child, but then like, you know, things didn't go right. And you two are like maybe trying again. And you two are remembering like the good times when you're like excited for this, the birth of this new child or, you know, ha moving into this new home or something like that. Like, you know, and the memories of like what went wrong in achieving that goal last time is like fading away and the more excitement and the more like visualization and like the fun parts the fun energies of achieving this goal is flooding the connection right so good vibes all around what actions are they taking in regards to this connection right now a personal issue reaches resolution yeah and it came out in reverse so I feel like whatever was plaguing this connection was solved and it's not like it was thrown under the rug or anything like no like whatever issue was there that didn't allow you to reach this goal or that um you had in the past in this connection or um that you've had in past relationships before meeting this person is resolved 
and you understand that. So you're not going into, into this connection like with the same problems and just trying to ignore it and trying to push it down for it to resurface and re-pop up again and again in your relationship. You resolved it. You two resolved any past issues regarding relationships or regarding this goal or whatever. Wow, that's wonderful. Power to you, pile four. Okay, and then the four of cups. Because I literally said four while I pulled out four of cups, I'm seeing the four of cups in, in a very positive light. Like the two fours, like there's stability in this connection. And it might be showing in like little ways, like, um, you know, something that you two argued about the pa in the past or would, uh, would um, trigger you or would trigger him or you would maybe fight about, like you two aren't fighting about that anymore, arguing about that or have an issue with that, you know, in the other person anymore. You two uh, actively can see that you've worked on things and it like shows. And it's like such a vast improvement even in little things, it, it's a, it shows a lot. It shows that you, you know, worked hard to solve that. What might seem like a small issue, but it's not, you know. Yeah. It might be like a pet peeve that they got over because they love you so much. Um, or they're actively working on it and you can, you can see that. Maybe one of you had like an anger issue and has really tried to get that under control. You know, went to go see see people, professionals about it. Um, and you can see it not just with you, but with other people. Um, for others of you, um, I feel like the, it might have felt like something was mis missing in your relationship. So if you've been in a relationship for a long time or this is something new. Sorry, if, if you don't know me as a reader, I read for all types of situations. So like I'll get messages for like um, all different groups because spirit does that. <laughs> Wants to address everyone as much as possible. But yeah, like um, if you've been in a relationship for a very long time or this is something new, I feel like there's been something missing in your relationship or your relationships and... It's like this person magically comes with that missing piece that you didn't know you were looking for. Like you knew something was missing in relationships. You didn't feel like you, but you couldn't put your finger on what that was. And this person comes along and they like give you that missing piece. It makes you feel really whole in this relationship. And it's just like, it just feels so like, oh, like, yes, finally. Like this is, this is the perfect relationship this is the stability and security I needed in a relationship I just couldn't put my finger on that fourth thing what was that other thing and finally got it finally figured it out with this new person or with this existing relationship you both kind of figured it out together or he did um wow I mean congrats to you Pavel. whatever this is like it took a lot of healing on both of your ends to kind of get here wherever here is like for the two of you like it is significant like you will know like it it takes a lot to get to this point uh, most people don't most people just throw it on the rug and continue having a miserable relationship or continue making those same mistakes in, in every relationship that they have or you know don't don't look at themselves as someone that needs to change and grow and be a better you know be better so I mean Hats off to both you and your person pile for because like it's like both of you recognize like hey like I can I can make the change I can be think of a solution I can be the thing that like makes sure that this relationship or the next relationship is better so what's the higher perspective of this mother yeah I did mention having a child um in this reading so I do feel like um, if this is a newer connection or someone new coming in, like maybe they weren't ready to have kids or maybe they had, like if you have kids, they didn't, they weren't really ready to be like a, a stepdad or something or, you know, um, they weren't comfortable with you and like a stepmother figure in their kid's life right now or all of a sudden or, um, 
maybe maybe like for a couple of you you might you might have even been pregnant um when you met this person or um yeah something about someone might have not been ready to be a father or at least that's what the excuse that they used or something um yeah but I do I do see for a lot of you um family planning is is part of this I for for most of you though I see it as a positive thing like you found someone who you want to have a family with or grow a family with um yeah you like their family or they like your family or both too like um there's good vibes here both of you understand the value of good family relationships being there for the child having a good relationship mother and father you know good partnership before you kind of get yeah, the relationship of the wife and husband comes before the relationship with the child kind of thing like always making sure you two are good otherwise everything's gonna break down right the family the home life if you two don't have it together first and both of you kind of understand the importance of this um and i think the two of you are just searching for someone who had who share the same ideals um yeah, so I feel like if this is a new connection, you both kind of find someone that you can see being, like, having a good family with, a good partnership where they're a good parent. And so, like, you know, you, your two parenting styles are similar. You two kind of grew up in similar, with similar family um, values. Something about getting close, like, you know being able to rely on his family or your family to help with the, the child um, or having the same kind of lifestyle. Maybe you, you two want to live in, you know, more closer to nature or more suburban, out of the city or in the city, like, you know, whatever your preferences are, like you two kind of agree on that. You two are kind of like family conscious when you kind of start this new connection. If this is a connection coming back, it's kind of like, you two are planning to grow the family this time, not just have it just the two of you. Um, so um, make family a priority if you two already have children or to grow the family if you two want to have um, children together or if you two are past that age. It's kind of like making sure that you have a community involved, that you're involved in each other's family's life and it's not just the two of you. It's really important. Like family is important. I'm getting family, family, family. Um, yeah, and if this is an existing relationship, I'm getting that, um, yeah, both of you might be trying to, uh, willing to try to have another child again, or you might be excited to have another child on the way or planning for it. Maybe you two are switching it up, like, hey, maybe we want to put our children in this kind of school this time, or maybe we want to move somewhere else, and you're like, okay. This is a big move to do this while also having a kid or changing jobs or something like that. Like there's like um there's another element at, at being added to your relationship. And it's something that what you both want and have been working towards. So it's like kind of like setting the intention, intentionally going after your goals. Um, both of you willing to do the work, even though it's like kind of like, okay, here we go again, like this time we're gonna do it, or um Maybe it's like taking on a couple of things, like buying a new home and having another child. And it's like, oh my God, it's going to be a lot. Like, can we do this? Like, I trust you. Like, let's do this. Something like that. But I feel like if this is a newer connection, it's like going in it with the same intentions, the same goals, and being on the same page. And like, both of you are like, okay, yeah, we're willing to do this. We can do this. Okay, so what else is going on with his life? emotionally and mentally what's on his mind what's on his heart soul on fire okay so he's very passionate he's ready to kind of i feel like fulfill his role i feel like um he's feeling so like this is what i'm meant to do like 
he like excited about it you know whether it's being a father or a father again or being a husband or being able to provide for you more or to you know help research for a new new home to be a part of this life and to be a part pl- playing these multiple roles like you know like the son-in-law or like you know the, the stepfather or like you know you know again like the husband or father figure or like someone who you know, it's taking the lead on this project or something physical because I'm getting the four energy. It's like very, I'm getting like emperor energy, like something that's going to be long lasting, something he can build, something he could help like provide or, you know, um, manifest with you. So he's like really feeling like he's in his element. He's feeling really good about life. Um, you make him feel like you give, you give him purpose, you give him meaning or like more meaning and more purpose in his life. Um, he feels like he's stepping into something he's always meant to do, um, or he's really excited for this next project, or he's really, he's excited for, it feels more right this time around, or something, something like that. Okay. Nine of Swords, yeah, because I feel like he's been, um, he might have been having a lot of stress, anxiety, maybe even, like, mental breakdowns, I'm hearing, um, from not knowing what to do with his life maybe he felt like no passion no desire or you know he's he was losing interest in the things that he was passionate about and that was like a sign of depression right and it's because like he's like overcomplicating things or doesn't know what to do next in his life or can't find meaning in his his life right and that's that's an issue so, um, yeah, this is the total opposite of that feeling. He's gotten out of that feeling and he feels like he has purpose, he has meaning, he has projects, he has things to take care of, he has a good woman by his side that he loves making love to, he loves flirting with, being handsy with, like, he's, like, excited and you could tell, you can feel it. Okay, so what um, actions are he taking? Is he taking outside of the connection? Willpower. I feel like you're. He's like challenging himself more in more ways than he's. In more ways than one, so like this relationship, this new goal is great, but I feel like he's also challenging how much willpower he has. So um, this is this is a great big challenge for him, right? And I feel like. You two are facing a, cha- a complicated challenge or a big challenge or a couple of um, smaller challenges but at the same time. So it's, it's a really definitely a challenging time for him, but he's excited for it. And what does that tell you? You know, like he's he's taking on more. He's trying to push his limits. He's trying to see how much he can do. He's trying to be a better person. He's um, He's challenging himself. He's pushing himself to be better, to be, to handle more, to see, you know, to push himself, yeah, push himself to see how much he can, how far he can go. And that's a really good sign that he's really happy with this connection because like it, it challenges him just enough to kind of, um, want to do more, be more. Cause what, if you get to that place where you like have no, like, desire for anything in life or no like not desire um no goals nothing to live for kind of thing um nothing to push yourself nothing to inspire you um that can be that can lead to a spiral downward right but I feel like this is a spiral upward like this is something that's motivating him pushing him he wants to wake up and, and and help help out with the kids or help 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 his partner out make him his home better work harder at work you know he just feels like I have purpose I have meaning people need me um I like I love the people I have around me I love helping them out I love you know making my life about the people I love the most and the things I like doing the most and it's just it's a really good mindset totally different from where he was before I think he was spiraling down before and now he's like spiraling upward this is good because like I'm, I'm getting this is the energy of like 
he keeps pushing himself and like even if he fails he's gonna keep pushing himself because he's like spiraling upward it's not just like he's pushing himself in one direction he's like the opposite of spiraling down he's like literally like if i fail at this don't worry i'm gonna get new motivation and a new project and i'm gonna keep push or i'm gonna get myself pull myself together and try this again push myself forward like this is a really good energy okay so what other actions is he taking the bear interesting power leadership where's the bear on this card okay oh here it is okay so strength career finances protection yeah he's becoming papa bear for sure that's wonderful i feel like he's growing his strength he, like as as the more he finds his voice, the more like the more meaning you give your life, the more purpose you give yourself, like you have something to live for. And that strength, that fire only grows. Like once you know what you're meant to do in this life, once you know like you once you give yourself meaning, once you give yourself your life meaning, once you find, you know, the people who love you the most and you know, daily routines that really kind of ground you. And, you know, people around you who love you and support you to allow you to spiritually grow and allow you to do things that you're passionate about, support you with the things that you care about. It's, it's, your soul's on fire, you know? You want to step up in, in lead. You want to, you grow in your power because you're, you're, you have personal power. Like your, your power increases so much that you might want to step up in, in a role at work or step up in, in around the house or step up in this relationship, step up in your family dynamics, you know? So your, his power is growing. We have willpower, we have power here, the boss energy leadership. Yeah, fearless. I'm seeing 333 right now too, so it's kind of like he's really stepping into his divine power. He has, he's, his spirit guys are, um, supporting him his higher self is um, very engaged he's very engaged with his intuition right now um because yeah good leaders have really strong intuition it's not like a feminine thing but like a feminine quality that any male or female can um grow and kind of uh, exercise and train themselves to kind of increase their intuitive ability that helps in anything in life the best leaders the best ceos um, best bosses um, have incredible intuition. Best businessmen, yeah. So, um, yeah, he's definitely growing into this really fearsome, powerful, strong person. No matter what their, like, physical build is, like, you, you might see that they're, like, physically growing stronger, but, like, mentally, emotionally, intuitively, oh, they're on top of their game. I'm getting like even if your person is like a little bit more skinny skinnier or a little bit on the shorter side like it doesn't matter like if they if someone has personal power no one will touch them you know they they put fear in people's um eyes just they put fear in people just by looking at them or just by talking to them like you know like you can tell when someone has a lot of power okay Let's see the higher meaning, the higher perspective of the Six of Cups reunion. It's under this mother card. So they really are so super happy that they found you. You are definitely their soulmate. And whether this is someone you're already in a relationship with, someone new that you're just finding, um, or newly in a connection with, or someone that's coming back, this is a reunion on a soul level. Because this is someone who understands you and allows you to be free. And vice versa too. Like he allows you to be you. He loves and supports your personal projects, your personal, your passions in life. It allows you to be free, not, you know, tied down to being like a housewife with the kids, you know. Like you have your own interests. And if your passion is to be with your kids more, you can do that. If you want to spend time painting or working on your career you can do that like this connection is so freeing for the both of you because you both make it work you both understand um when the other person needs a break or when the other person needs support and when you know and 
how to make how to compromise and how to make it work so both of you get what you want like this is such a powerful relationship like all, all the things i said about the power with him i feel like it's so much true of you too you're being called to push your your power to like see how much power you have to push your limits to gain that much personal power back you both empower each other i feel like you're going on off on a limb here too but like I'm getting like a educated risk like you know when a risk takes feels right when you can trust someone to to do this thing with you how much you can take on at a time your soul is on fire as well this is an incredible connection I'm I'm super happy for you pile four like this is it's so funny that this might be one of the greatest challenges, most challenging time in your life, in both of your lives, and yet it's the most fun. I feel like both of you have the energy, both of you have the willpower, the desire. I feel like this is like where the, both of you are like, yeah, let's do this, you know? It might be one of the harder things we do in life, but I'm so excited about this. It's, it's so worth it, and it's so worth doing it with someone you trust and can rely on and you can talk to and and yeah this is a big thing this is a big decision but both of you are so excited to take this on and like excited to work on it every day and and you know and with each other it's 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 a fun time both of you are going through like an immense amount of growth with this one challenge or or, or multiple small challenges that you both are taking on at the same time both of you are like this is really cool. I can't explain how cool this is. Um, people do this all the time, right? Like, it's like, oh, look at this husband-wife team. They're building their own house or renovating this thing or having, you know, a, their fourth or fifth child or, you know, both of them are, you know, leading in their careers and, you know, are having it all like you know people take on like big challenges all the time it's hard to do that's why many people don't do it and i have nothing against them living simply i'm all for it actually but um when you when you find someone where you have the en and or you you have that time in your life where you feel like you have the energy to take on that extra challenge or that bigger challenge and push yourself and you have the right person to kind of support you to help push each other like it's kind of worth it right it's so worth it in the end you both become like grow as people and grow as a couple and i feel like that's one of these moments that's this moment right here so pile four um good on you godspeed if you enjoyed this reading i really appreciate you like or comment it's a new topic i really like your input and if yeah just <laughs> I, I don't know what to say just go girl <laughs> And with that, I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day and I wish you much love and light.